All right, what's up, you fucking sundown nut huggers? Here's a video for you. Uh, I'm just playing. I'm just kidding. Um, got my Saws 1500D installed. All one-out runs. Uh, I kind of ran them on the side of the seat there because I liked the way it looked. I could have ran it underneath, but I think this looks better. It's just you open up the doors and you just see fucking copper runs for days. Um, there's the yellow top Optima underneath the seat. I know I got some little fucking puny wires that are coming from it. Uh, they're not too bad. I'm sure they help with voltage drop somewhat. I got to get some one one uh terminations so I can do that tight and right. And then I got to change my distro blocks out because they only have two uh, one aught inputs and I'm using an input from the battery up front in the alternator um, to, to, to the input on the hot, and then the ground comes from the frame rail, which is also grounded in the front with one hot. So the circuit's complete, all one hot runs. Um, this guy obviously comes from this battery. This one goes to my power inverter. You guys can see it. Zantrax power inverter, 1000 water. Right there. So that's what that guy goes to. This one goes to my mids and highs amp underneath the seat. This is just a ground run to that same amplifier to the mids and highs amp. I know it's red cable, but I got a couple of little black nuggets on there. Some electrical black tape to make sure that I remember that it's fucking negative and I don't go hit my hot. Um, things to say about this amplifier. Uh, it's about a zillion times better than, than uh, as far as efficiency, it's a zillion times better than my old MRD. When I ran that thing at 1 ohm, it dro I dropped my electrical when my truck was idling to like 12 volts. Uh, this one never drops below 13. Um, I want to show you guys the recone or the glue job on the recone here. If you look around the edge of the dust cap, just look really carefully. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but you can see that there's no voids at all on the glue bead itself. It's absolutely fucking perfect. I mean, better than the factory did because there is because there is a void in the upper left corner up here from the factory and. Uh, and uh, I got it, I nailed it, dude. I hit it fucking first recon. This thing works bitching. Um, it's a little bit broken in. Sorry for the wind. It's a little windy out here today. Um, it works bitching. I mean, all I can say is it sounds cleaner. Um, I know I can feel that it's, that it's, it's not, uh, I'm not going to tell you it's drastically louder, but it's, it is much louder, definitely. Um, and that's just because I got the power increase. I didn't think it was going to get much louder, um, but it did. So um, you can see my truck's idling. I will not touch the gas. Voltage is just sitting right there, 14.2. My feel good gauge is a little low. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you the voltage drop. Like I said, I won't hit the gas. And, uh, and I'll show you some excursion of the woofer so you guys can see the recon in action. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I think the voice coil is perfectly centered. Um, I think it came out better than it was shipped to me, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I would have rather had the newer star, style cooling ring and the new basket on there, but I don't really care. It doesn't make it's a negligible difference. I mean, I don't think it really helps that much with thermal power handling. So, um, the gain on the amp is set about a third of the way up. Um, that's where I had it set to where the subs maxed out when I have my remote knob cranked all the way up. Uh, I know the blue LED is not working, uh, Chris from. DBR uh, is going to send me a couple um, to replace it because uh, I don't know why it doesn't work, but I had to order them from him. Um, so he's going to send me a couple of those to replace it, and, uh, and that'll be all well. Um, so anyway, so enough of the blah blah blah. blah. Let's uh, let's get this fucking voltage dropping. Um, this is Soldier Toy. I know this is kind of a fucking stupid uh, dude to be playing on my system. I, I hate this fucking artist right here. I think he's, a, he's fucking ultra mega super whack, but this song fucking slays pretty good and hits a low note pretty decent. It's not too low, but I'm going to go ahead and hit it so you guys can check out the full thing. So there's the 
mid bass. I'll go ahead and drop some low notes here for a second so you guys can see the voltage drop off. That's it for now. Um, it's kind of getting a little wet late. It's a little windy out here. Fucking kind of hard to hear. And uh, but I just wanted to get you guys a quick video so you could see that the recon was successful. Fucking came out titties. Um, the glue joints are just as strong as they were from the factory, I believe, or really close to it. Um, so other than that, man, that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Um, cabling came out nice. Amp mounted up. Fucking sits in that that spot just perfect. It's just perfectly wide enough. I think I want another one. Let's strap them. Strap another one over here, and then uh, and then get another single sundown audio SA12 and see what I can do with that. And if that ain't enough, then I'm gonna pop in two more and maybe two two more 1500Ds. Who knows? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna see where I'm at little by little. Um, if it ain't enough for me, I'm just gonna keep fucking dropping equipment in here until uh, until I melt my alternator into a fucking molten puddle metal. And then I'll get a new one of those and then see where I'm at again. So, with that, I'm out. Peace, measles, my niggas.